let's activate your new SpyPoint LM2 cellular trail camera. First, make sure that the camera is off and the battery tray is removed. Install a newly formatted Class 10 SD card that's at least 2GB but not larger than 32GB. Open the SpyPoint app and select Activate New Device either from the login menu or by selecting the plus sign button on the camera list of the app. You'll be taken into the activation process. Select LM2 from the menu and click Next. Once you've chosen your device, you'll be prompted to enter the device information by selecting Scan and using your phone's camera to scan the data matrix or barcode on your camera. A pop-up tutorial will explain where to find this information. On the next screen, you can enter any referral information you may have. If you are not referred, simply leave these blank and select Activate My Device. Now you can insert the battery tray and power the unit on. The status light next to the on-off switch will begin to blink while it's acquiring signal. Once signal is acquired, the status light will stop blinking and be solid. Green indicates good signal, orange a fair signal, and red indicates limited or no signal, and you need to find a location with stronger network coverage or use an extension antenna to proceed. Should a newer firmware version be available for your LM2 upon initial startup, the camera will update to ensure that it is on the latest firmware. Your camera will do this after signal is acquired and before it enters photo mode. It is always best to first turn your camera on at home or some other location with quality signal to ensure this process goes quickly as possible and so you can verify its success. Do not turn your camera off while the firmware is updating. The status light will remain on during this procedure. Additional OTA firmware updates will not be able to be initiated by the user, but your first update ensures your camera is up and working easily out of the box. When the status light stops flashing, and when the firmware procedure is complete, you should notice that the red indicator lights on the top of the camera begin flashing. This indicates the camera is in countdown mode. You have 30 seconds before it begins taking pictures. Once the red indicator lights have stopped flashing, move in front of the camera to trigger a detection. You'll know this happens because the status light will flash green and then turn orange while it transmits. Once the orange light turns off, the photo should be visible in the SpyPoint app, perhaps with a momentary delay. Once the light goes back off, check your app to make sure that the status in the app has been updated with the last sync. Verify that the image was transmitted to the app by going to the Photos tab in the app. If the image is there, your camera's been activated properly and is functioning as it should. Now's the perfect time to review your camera settings and make any changes to ensure it's working how you'd like. If the image doesn't appear immediately, give it a few minutes for the new device to connect to the SpyPoint server. If, after a few minutes, the app does not update to display the new photos, remove the SD card and check for images in the DCIM folder of the card. If there are no images in the folder, reformat the card, reinstall it, and repeat the steps to start the camera and trigger a detection. If unsuccessful a second time, remove the SD card and contact customer service. They will assist you in the next steps to troubleshoot your camera. For more helpful and informative videos like this, visit spypoint.com support.